Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and I sell used stuff on eBay. Today we're talking about DVDs. I've got six banker boxes full of DVDs here from, it's actually from an estate clean out that we're gonna be going through today and see if any of these are profitable for eBay. The majority of DVDs you run into are just not worth anything online. Shipping online is costing us right now $349 to ship a DVD plus whatever you're paying for your bubble mailer. So, you know, looking at close to four bucks and problem is a lot of them are listed online for $450 free shipping. So most of these are not going to be profitable, but we got a couple of ways of dealing with that and still making money on these as long as you got the buy price right. My buy price for bulk DVDs where it's unsorted is 10 cents a piece. And that's because the majority of them aren't worth anything. But I'm going to scan through these real quick, kind of let you guys know how many are profitable, how many aren't. My bottom dollar for pricing DVDs on eBay is $7 plus shipping. I think that's kind of a got nice point where you're making some good profit. Anything lower than that, I still think at 4 or $5 you're making good profit. But a lot of the DVDs at 4 or $5, if you get underpriced, you can't lower your price any below that. So at the $7, I like that line because I still got a little ways where I can still lower the price and still make some money at four or five dollars I can't lower the price and still make any money so I don't list them there seven dollars that way I got that little bit of buffer room could still make some money and then plus my shipping which is 349 right now when media mail goes up probably here in a couple weeks it'll be whatever it is then but I got a tote down here that I'm going to put all my non-profitable ones in probably need a second tote but might just reuse the banker boxes so I'm gonna stop talking start scanning and Let's get after it. All right, so according to my phone, that took exactly 32 minutes to scan through all of those. I tried to ballpark how many we had earlier, and I think there's around 420, 450 DVDs here, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, these are part of an estate that my uncle helped clean out and basically do a consignment deal with him is the way we do things. And but yeah, if you're interested about consignment, leave me a comment. Maybe I'll make a video on that, maybe not. It's definitely not for everybody, but it works out good for us and our relationships. So. Um, let's talk about the bulk. I got a huge stack here of bulk DVDs. What I do to clear those out is I am going to be selling those for 85 DVDs for 20 to $25 for that lot of 85 DVDs. So that's basically after fees. I think of that as being right at 20 cents a piece. If they sell at $25, a little bit less if they go lower. I list for 25 and take offers down to 20 and I sell those quite regularly. They fit in a small Lowe's box really well that way. And that's how I sell my bulk DVDs. I got a listing. It's really, really easy. 
doesn't take a lot of work. One picture, I do not put the titles or anything in the description like some people do. Just let them go. So never had a problem there. Had a lot of people come back and buy multiple times from that listing. So very happy with that. But anyways, let's turn you guys around and show you what I got here. Got some good stuff. I'm pretty happy. Let's take a look. Let's see what you think. All right, so here's what I got here. A little bit of everything. First off, let's look at this. This is kind of funny. This is some like Harry Potter make. I think just some like... I don't know. Homemade thing from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So looks like it was made by some kids. So I thought that was hilarious. Thought I'd share that with you guys. I'm sure there's no value there, but man, that's, that's just funny. So let's kind of start over here. I'm keeping these for myself. We got the Hobbits. I do not have these and kind of wanted them. So I'm going to grab them here. And Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Thought I'd add those to my collection. So keeping those right here is a stack that i'm going to put in the booth both of these piles i'm going to put those in the booth for like a dollar a piece and clear them out that way sell a lot of kids dvds that way send out a lot of my disney that way also any like captain america or anything like that those types of titles do go in the bo booth so i'm going to put all that stack in there there's a lot more here that i probably could but i can't seem to sell too much out of the booth too quickly and over here, I got some bundles here. We got all of the diehards, or at least a bunch of them, some Jurassic Park slash Worlds, and some Indiana Jones. I'm gonna see if those are worth lotting up on eBay. If not, I'm gonna lot those up in the booth, tie a little ribbon or something around them and price them for a few dollars for the bundle. So that's my plan there. And then right here is what we actually have for profit. These are all seven to $10, which I know that's not a lot of profit, but good stack there this stack here is my 10 to 20 dollar stack we got trading christmas which i think that spiked because of the christmas season so that might go a little bit less all creatures great and small season one once again pbs it's also a season those are things you want to be on the lookout for here is some sort of collection dvd howard's end and here is a never cry wolf this is some sort of disney thing that i think probably has been left behind for some reason don't know what's going on there high road to china this is new sealed which is why it made this pile once again kind of a small print there like who even put this out they're not whoever the publisher is they're not crazy enough to put their name on it and it looks like it's a tom Selleck movie so that's probably why that's pretty good and the last one extreme days this is new sealed that's another reason why it made the stack and the last one, I think I'm gonna list this for 30. This is Take Joy, The Magical World of Tasha Turor. I'm gonna look at this a little bit carefully or more careful before I list it, but I'm thinking $30 on there, looking at the comps real quick. And then here is my kind of $7 pile. We got Holiday Inn, a little Blu-ray, Room with a View, another one of these collections, just like this one over here. So whatever this Criterion collection is, maybe it's pretty good. 100 movie pack that's gonna be like seven dollars plus shipping someone's gonna get great value out of that pink panther collection another little one of these triple features i always scan these like three four feature movie packs they do pretty good sometimes white knights clint eastwood american icon collection once again another pack the hunter know him as healer this is a gloria copeland dvd the life and times of hank greenberg Another Extreme Days, just like we had over here, but this one is used. How to Steal a Million. And then finally, we got this little sealed, The Chosen, original music on DVD. And that's what we got. So that's what we got for today. I am selling all these on eBay. I'm working on getting Ungated for Amazon. Probably next month, I'm going to really try and get that done. I just sent off my first box of books to Amazon and some other stuff earlier in the week so hopefully that goes good trying out the whole amazon thing if you're interested in that go ahead and subscribe because hopefully i'm gonna have some stuff on un ungating pretty soon and just how to send it in order and all that good stuff i want to get a few shipments in under my belt before i made that first video for you guys about how to do it but once i got my printer set up it wasn't too bad honestly the biggest thing was just get my printer set up for those little labels that you send out once i figured that out not too bad not too bad pretty happy but it's kind of chilly so I think I'm going to go inside, 
finish this up for the day and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.